Hello, my name is Judy Ye Young Kim, and I'll be doing my presentation on AI translators on Twitter and the international K-pop fandom. When Twitter first implemented artificial intelligence translators on their platform, it opened many doors, particularly it impacted the great, uh, international K-pop fandom greatly, who no longer had to rely on other fans for translations of tweets by their favorite artists. With the click of a button and the tap of a screen, they could translate what their favorite artist is saying into their own language. However, with the rise of this new technology, there was a question whether translators who received celebrity treatment would, and was a part of these fans would lose their jobs. This project matters because it explores the implication of AI and its relation to labor. Fast facts. When you look up the word translations on Twitter, the top results are translation accounts for various K-pop groups. Twitter's AI translator is powered by Google. It used to be Bing, but it switched over, which could speak to the monopoly of Google. AI translators allow fans to connect with their favorite artists, even if they don't speak the same language. Now, this is a screen capture of a tweet uh, to an artist named Jackson Wang. Um, it is in Thai, and to my knowledge, um, Jackson Wang doesn't speak Thai, so the assumption is that this fan would be able to tweet to them into their own language, and Jackson would use a translator to um, decipher what the fan is saying. In a study done by Aisha in 2017, there was a doubt of whether using Google Translate would bring the most accurate translations, and the fandom would seek out real-person translations. Real person translation prevent an accurate translation based on cultural background and context. This is a tweet by BTS and it says, noisy in the forest or shikabachuk in the soup. So soup can mean forest in Korean, but in this context, it's actually a variety, the, show, the variety show that BTS is in, which is called in the soup. So the AI translator was able to say in the forest, which is not wrong, but it missed the cultural context. But, uh, but the real person translator was able to take that into cultural context and translate it correctly. AI translators also allow for fans to get a translation of what their favorite artist is saying at a light speed. In a study done by Aisha 2017 on BTS's Twitter account, um, there was a large request for English translations when never BTS tweeted. With the integrated AI translator, demand has gone down. However, there are still preferences for real person translators. This is another tweet by BTS and it says, guitar friend Chris Martin after his performance. My friend who gave me coolness because guitar is cool. I'll have to decorate with family heirlooms. Thanks, Martin. This is a, tw a tweet by, this is a translation by the AI translator. Now the real person translator says, the guitar that Chris Martin gifted to me after his performance. I said, your guitar looks nice. And he, my friend, gave it to me in a cool way. I'll keep it as a family treasure. Thank you, Martin. So. As you can see, the two translations are very different. There's different context and there is different meaning. And there's a gratefulness from the fandom, as you can see it by this tweet by City that says, thanks Choi for translating it correctly. It's great help for ARMY who will read it wrong and mis misunderstood what a Twitter translation shows. So AI translators, there's a room for uh, miscommunication and mistranslation. But of course there is. AI translators don't translate cultural nuances and miss a lot of things. That's not 100% true. It's not all the time. AI works by collecting data from a data set and identifying patterns to come up with an answer. Broussard, 2018, page 34, which means that if they can program cultural nuances into AI, they're able to translate it. And this is an example. So this is a tweet by eight. ATs, which is a, a K-pop group, and it says 18E, let's walk only on a flowery road. And then in the translation by the um, real person translate, it says the, almost the exact same thing. But the word 18E doesn't exist in Korean outside of this context, which is the name of the fandom for ATs. So they were able to, Google was able to be programmed the word 18E into their AI translator and use that in their translations. But it can be true that um, Google can miss cultural nuances. For example, at this tweet, it says, 요즘 인싸면 불금에 이것 한다? Which means these days, if you're an insider, you're doing this on a fiery Friday night. Um, it's interesting, but Google, this is translated by me, but Google, it says, these days, if you're an insider, you're doing this on fire. So the translations are very different. 
And it's interesting how the AI was able to pick up the word insa, which is means insider, and not prugum, which means fiery Friday, which also which basically means TGIF in Korean. Which these are both colloquial terms, but uh, but AI was only able to pick up only one colloquial term. And this is a um, tweet by a translator who says, I wrote an explanation under the term TN under the title for not be familiar with it. So T translate translators can provide a cultural context through the use of TNs under tweets of threads and things like that. So what does this mean? What's better, AI translators or a real humans? This is a tweet by Seventeen. Um, it says it has a tweet, tweet in both English and Korean which is translating at the source. The answer, AI and real humans must work together. While AI has does have its advantages, it does not replace the work that humans do. I like to think AI translators as fast food translators. It does the job and it satisfies your hunger, but it doesn't have nutritional value and it misses a lot of cultural context. But, that does, but if you're hungry and you need a fix, then McDonald's will just do fine. But saying that AI will should and will take over the world and real person translators will lose their jobs does not account for ghost work. A ghost work is the intentionally human human later that powers technology, Gray and Surrey, 2019, paragraph one. Ghost work is what fills the gaps that AI cannot, uh, Gray and Surrey, 2019, paragraph two. So if we say that AI will trans take over the world, it's not accounting for that there are people that are programming these AI. Then there's also the preference for human translators and celebrity status of these translators. So a part, a part of the, uh, the, cult, the one of the things that are missing is that, um, is the culture that is real person translators bring into K-pop fandom. Many fans rely on the real person translators and are immensely grateful to them. Aisha 2017. Zer 2018 in their study of the Hebrew Hallyu fans also found that there have been a lot of gratitude towards translators. In this case, the sub and create community of Korean dramas. This gratefulness allows translators to become like celebrities themselves, creating a public opinion on them. And then there's also cultural nuances, which is which I was explored before that AI translators missed. And another important thing is the hybridization of English and K-pop. That's a part of the culture that will be missing if real trans, trans person translators replace in the culture of presence of English in the K, K, English in the international K-pop fandom. Although K-pop stands for Korean pop, it is undeniable the hybridity of English in the K-pop fandom. A part of this is due to how the artists use English in themselves in their staging to their lyrics, Chen 2017, page 57, but also because English has become a must for economic as well as cultural globalization. Jin, as cited in Jin and Ruth, 2012, page 119. So this also ties into the official translations of the source that market the international fans that we saw earlier. Um, it doesn't, you, the official translators also use English and it there and there's also um, English can be a huge part of this culture and a lot of K-pop fans actually use the tweets that are translated to learn Korean or English. And thank you for listening to my presentation. This is my cat kimchi. He thought he'd say hi.